everyone, Krista Moser here. Today I thought I'd show you one of my patterns, City Girl Chevron. This is a great stash buster. It uses mostly two and a half inch strips and then some narrow strips for accent. I've picked a black and a shimmery gold for my accent strips. And the best part about this is you only need one two and a half inch strip or two two and a half inch strips of any one fabric. So if you've just got extra strips laying around from jelly rolls or orphan strips left over from pre-cuts that you haven't used, this is a great pattern to use them up. I'm going to show you how I start the cutting. And then I thought I'd talk about the different rulers you can use. So maybe you can use a ruler you already have. Here I have some two and a half inch strips. The one up behind me, I've done just a series of grays and whites. And of course, like I said, that black and gold is my accent. I used stripes, I used plaids, hound's tooth, graphic prints. It's kind of art deco-y, I really like it. And I've got some here that I, I'm just gonna stack up. So each block is made from strip sets. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up and uh, you'll get a real feel for how this works. So two and a half inch strips, I've got three of them. I'm stacking them right perfectly on top of each other and I'm going to cut the end off at a 60 degree angle. And that will set up my strip set for the, the wider ones. Here I'm using a 60 degree diamond ruler and I'm just lining up the top of the ruler along the strip right with the edge and I'm just going to cut off the end. And you know, I even cut into the salvage because most of that gets eaten up in a seam allowance so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, trim off the end and use the flat tip to give myself an advantage when I go to piecing. Now for my narrow strips, I grab my black and gold here. And I'll stack these up too. And you'll notice I'm stacking these strips pretty side up in a single layer and I'm just cutting one end off. It's just to start the strip set. Okay, here we go. Cut the end off. My little the reason I do this because then I can stagger the strips while piecing. So I'll separate these out. I'm just gonna go with my cool black and white stripe here at the top. A gray strip, a shimmery gold, and a black and white one. What this does when I stagger the piecing this way and using these flat tips, because I'll sew this one to the uh, to black and white, and using that flat tip, I've got a perfect matchup point for my quarter inch seam. So when I press it out, this is all on a good line. And the same thing here with my shimmery gold, going to the gray, flat tip, press that out, and again for the last seam, we'll go here. So what this does, by angling the strips or staggering the ends like this before sewing, this gives me an advantage. I only had to trim off this little bit from each strip, but what, what it will save me is once I've sewn all these, had I just sewn them with a square end and then gone to cut my triangles from it, I would have wasted that big piece of, of sewn strip. So cutting this little amount off saves me this larger amount. And what it ends up doing is it, by staggering here, it staggers the other ends of the strips, pushing them out so I get one more triangle cut. So no waste. You'll see what I mean here because I've got some of these already sewn. So I'll put these aside. And here we have strip set. Here's the staggered end, and you will see how the other ends, I just let them fall where they were, and they're staggered out again as well. So by cutting, we're gonna cut triangles, by cutting here, 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 all the way across, I will get one more triangle because it's staggered down at that end. That's a question I get a lot because I do this trick in quite a few of my patterns and I get emails. People ask, why do you do that? Can't I just get as many cuts from a squared off strip? The answer is no and there's actually more waste. So with this little trick, you'll probably get more blocks out of your strip set. Now what I've done is I have two mirror image strip sets. Here's the trick with these. I have pressed the seams on this strip set Towards my, towards my cream, down. And the seams on this strip set 
down as well. And the reason for it is they will flip flop. So I'm gonna sew one block from this strip set and one from this strip set together. And all of these little intersections will match effortlessly. So if you've got stash and you have two of each strip, you can do this method because you're gonna make two exact matching strip sets, pressing their seams in opposite directions. And if you lay them on top of each other, their seams, you can feel them. Their seams will nest just like this. So I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do and that is cut through two layers at the same time. And the only reason I'm doing this is because these seams are opposite of these seams. And so you don't have bulk here. They nest into each other, making this really flat. And so I don't have to worry about my ruler rocking around or sliding from side to side. And I know I'm gonna get some accurate cuts. And my strips are very straight. You'll notice that too. That's important. You can do a lot with your iron and you can manipulate your fabric and get it really wonky but you can also manipulate it back and get it really straight. So that's what I've done in my pressing. So I'm just going to kind of scratch and massage these together and make sure my strips are even and the seams seem to be nesting. I can feel that. Okay, let me turn this around since I'm right-handed. Now the pattern is illustrated using the triangle ruler. This is a 60 degree triangle by Creative Grids and it's a great ruler. So if you have that, you can use it. I'm gonna show you how to do that one, but many of you already have my 60 degree diamond ruler that has a triangle side. So one half of it is marked for triangles. So I'll show you how to use that one too so you don't have to get something um, just for this pattern. If you've got one of each. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna take the ruler and I am just going to line up the edge of the ruler here and the flat tip on the other side. Just like that. I'm gonna trim on this side because I didn't do a cleanup cut. I probably should have. Don't try that at home. Okay, there we have it. There's my cleaned up edge. Turn the ruler around. One more cut. Flat tip there, the other edge along the side of the strip set, just like this. Okay, now to use the diamond ruler. We are going to follow the eight and a half inch line here across one edge and the flat tip across the other. Now the advantage to this ruler is actually, you have a flat tip here and we are gonna flatten the tips on the other side too because we can and it will make for easy piecing later. I'm going to do that, trimming that off and that too. Turn the ruler. Eight and a half inch line. I'm going to just trim off here and here. Now I've cut through two layers here. So this is what happens. These two will get sewn together, just like that. The nice thing is, see this? How the seams are flip-flopped all the way down? So I just have to take that pair to the sewing machine, and they nest perfectly. I'm gonna do my quarter inch seam here, and I press that seam open. It helps to alleviate the bulk. So we get one block that looks like this, and we get one block that looks like this. Same story here with the seams being opposite each other. Isn't this cool? So you have a black as your large V and a gold as the large V of the other one. And then of course the reverse. So that's how you get all this variation. Gold is, is the small mountain or the large mountain and the black changes position again. Kind of giving it a, a scale or a chevron look is the idea. Just fun. Eats up so many scraps. Now each one of your strip sets, you should be able to get, let's see how many we can get. I think you should be able to get eight sets all the way across. And I'm going to show you how that advantage of those early cuts staggering the ends is going to help when we get down here. A couple more cuts. 
And my seams being perfectly flat, my ruler isn't rocking around. I don't normally cut through two layers of sewn strip sets because you lose a lot of accuracy, but when it comes to something like this where, uh, where the seams are going opposite direction, it actually works. Put that there. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Last one. Look at that. Now, had I sewn my strips square end to end, they would have all stopped right about here. But because I staggered the one in and pushed the other end out, you see, it makes it just wide enough. And I get one extra cut. Otherwise, it would have lost my, my corner. There it is. The box. It goes pretty quick, too. All of these blocks, now this layout I did is more of a lap size, but the pattern itself actually is Sudicryl Chevron pattern. And the pattern itself is a pretty, pretty big quilt. It's like 70 by 90. I have it here and I'll show you the original. So if you like color, if black and white isn't your thing, here's what I did with turquoise and coral and navy and again I just grabbed strips in turquoise from dark turquoise all the way to light navy coral different shades just a bunch of scraps cut into two and a half inch strips plus the accent strips and did the, the assembly just like I showed you of course I've got my gold metallic in there as an accent again because I just really like the way that pops each block it's very fun what I thought we would do is include the layout for a lap size in each one of the patterns. So you can buy this pattern and get the big, the big layout, but we'll also include a layout for the lap size and the strip count that you need to make. Strips like this, how many sets to make for the, for the lap size. And we have fabric bundles. Not really done this before. Now, I wouldn't call this a kit necessarily because you still have to add an accent or two. We've got a black in here as your accent, but everything that I used to do this one, so you can see it's golds and whites, whites and blacks. I've got some stripes in there. There's like four different striped fabrics. They're awesome. Wovens, very fun little plaids and, um, and there's enough to do this size or this size in this bundle. So we've got 18 different fabrics plus an accent. You can add another accent. I chose to do a, a metallic gold. It would be kind of cute if you did just about any other color in there as your accent. And we thought we would include a pattern. If you want one of these fabric bundles, we'll put a link to it in the description below. And then we'll include a pattern in each one of these bundles. We're going to do a couple different bundles, maybe a mega bundle and a mini bundle. So if you have stash and you'd like to use up what you have and then just maybe supplement it, you can do one of the, the smaller bundles. But if you really like what you see here, we've got you covered. And we actually have all of this ready to ship, so you don't have to wait. If you want a fun project, eat up your stash, use up your scraps, maybe... Uh, Maybe add to them with what we've got here. Could be a fun week. All right, let's see. Here's the pattern. City Girl Chevron. We'll put a link to this in the, in the description below too. And it is available as a printed pattern or as a PDF download. So either one, wherever you are, we can get you a, a copy of this. I hope you found something interesting here. Thanks for watching.